Hi, this is Kyle from Antioch Graphic Supply, and today I'm going to show you the feature in the Silhouette Studio uh, Snap 2 Grid. So I have the basic edition uh, set up on my screen here, and I'm going to show you the Snap to Grid feature, which is in the page setup. So on the right side, the very top icon with the piece of paper with the folded corner is your page setup. Now right next to that page is the grid. If you click on that, you'll see show grid or not show grid. Well, right next to it is the snap to grid. So if you ever had images just jumping all over the screen, more than likely you have the snap to grid um, it checked. So if I check this and I have a squ and I draw a square, Let me just color it in so you can see it. You have a square. It's going to jump to each line on the grid as you move it. it will, you can't get it in between. And that's, that's the basic of it. But I'm going to jump in a little deeper and you can see uh, if this is a feature that you would like or not. So if I'm going to expand this rectangle, it's going to jump to each inch grid that I have either way. Also if you notice when I draw a square it keeps it to each inch one inch but it jumps to each one. Oh, Get rid of that one. So that's basic keeps it proportioned to the inch when I draw it and then it keeps it to the square. Now I have my spacing set to one one by one which is one inch squares. Now if I change this to two divisions in one inch it has the split here so now I can actually jump it a half an inch all around. Same with if I draw a box it'll let me draw it to the half inch marks and then this will go and jump it around so if I keep adding divisions in here it'll jump to each one as you go through it so a lot of people have been asking why why their image jumps around like this it's probably because you have the snap to grid on now if you don't have the snap to, snap to grid on, you can put it anywhere you want. It's a lot smoother. You can let it go wherever you want. And also when you draw a box, it lets you have more freedom on, of control. But if you know you need you know, specific dimensions, you can put the snap to grid on and you could get it very quickly. It also works with the circle shape see how that's you know that's a three inch by three inch circle you can see it right on the grid there kind of keeps things in line so that's the snap to grid if you have any questions about it please let me know super basic tool this is where you flip it on and off and also if you turn off the grid and move stuff around it'll still jump to whatever divisions you have. So if you don't like working with the grid but still want to keep that proportion option, you can still use it. All right, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, you know, if you have any ideas for other other videos, let me know. But this is the basic snap to grid feature. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one.